What's like, what really says like pizza? Jazz maybe? Uh, yeah, this is nice. This is nice cooking music. First step. It's, it's in the recipe book. It's not, it's, it has nothing to do with, I'm just following the steps here. Okay. So today we are going to be making a garden basil pepperoni pizza. So I was, I was doing some research before stream and I was looking at proper ways to toss a pizza and I think I figured it out. It said we would need a, a bowl full of flour. I've never done this before, by the way. Before I do any of this, let me wash my hands. Hygiene's important, chat, and you know, as I do here, I always wash my hands. As you guys know, I've never not washed my hands before. The video was just like drop it into the flour and get it all nice and floured, which I've never done, but we're just gonna do it because I trust the guy. Okay. Okay, so basically he was like, we're gonna press in a circle around the dough. Um, like I said, I've never done this, so I, I don't really know. Okay, I'm trying to remember what he did next. I think he like stretched around where his crease was. Well, I, I'd like to think I'm a pretty good cook, but pizza dough in a technical form is something that I've never done. This is what I have so far. Toss it. Whoa! Yeah, I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of crazy. Yeah. Sometimes you just got to like show your dough who's boss. I could if I wanted to. Okay. Um fun fact, if you guys are ever trying to uh to transfer uh, pizza easily, use cornmeal. It works way better. See, look, it's very uh, slidey. Okay, um, we've got the dough ready. Uh, we need to get our can of crushed tomatoes. We sip, spread that on, layer mozzarella, layer provolone, pepperoni on the top. That's a whop. In a medium bowl, combine blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's do, I'm gonna do the in a medium bowl part first because I think that's better. Tablespoon of olive oil. We don't measure here because we are professionals. Pinch of salt. Sauce onto the pizza here. You can also just use regular pizza sauce, but I think crushed tomatoes is a, is a good substitute. The problem that I think a lot of people end up doing with their homemade pizzas is they over uh, they overcrowd it and then it gets very heavy. And then it's actually really hard to transfer as well because we're literally adding, we're about to add like three more things to this pizza on top of the sauce. It calls for shredded provolone, which I couldn't find. So I'm just going to shred my own slices of provolone instead. It wouldn't be baking with cheese if you don't eat some yourself. Okay, pepperonis on top. Okay, last up is the tomatoes. This is what I'm saying where it's a lot on this pizza. I feel like I'm not gonna be able to get all these tomatoes on here. Here's what I'm gonna predict. I'm gonna go to transfer this onto the pizza stone and all the tomatoes are gonna just fall off. And this is usually where I have Will to help me, but Will's not here right now. So I'm just gonna do my best uh, with a spatula and we'll see how it goes. I actually can't believe I slid it that well. I'm not gonna lie to you. All right, and that's going to bake for what it says 10 to 15 minutes. I'm gonna set a timer and just keep an eye on it. I'll do a little cleanup in the meantime. Stop staring at my ass. I'm talking to you. Fun fact, that is a mini fridge. It's not a, this is a normal sized refrigerator. If anything, this shows you that I'm not as short as you guys think that I am. This is, I was, I was actually, 
uh, kneeling that entire time. This is my true height, where I'm at right now. I need your advice. I like a girl in kindergarten and she liked me. Okay, thank God. I, I don't know where that was going at first and then I was like, okay. I liked this girl in kindergarten and she liked me and now I see her in high school. What do you think I should do? I mean, do you still like her? And is she dating anybody or anything? Have you guys talked since, have you talked since, since elementary school? IDK, apparently she's bi. I mean, if she's bi, technically that doesn't mean that you're out of the race. But I think what I would do, if, if you haven't talked to her since like kindergarten, I think my best advice would be maybe like, you could talk to her again, be like, haha, I remember kindergarten and whatnot. Um, but you know, maybe get to know her because between the time in kindergarten and now she might've changed a lot. You know what I mean? Like back then she could have been like, ha ha, I have some of my crayons. And now she's like, ha ha, I do meth. You know what I mean? You never know. And then see, you know, cause you just don't know. You just don't know. You don't know. So, you know, that's all I'm saying. You, you just don't, you don't know. Stop, you look like a white middle-aged mom in that pose. Guys, let's discuss. How is school today? How's your, how's your dad been? And the missus? Oh, tell Kim I said hi. She is just, we gotta have them over again. We gotta have them over. Cause last time, last time it was so much fun. Really. Okay, you're right. I do, I do, I do kind of feel. <clears throat> All right, what are we talking about? All right, guys, it's times like this when I ask myself, should I have another beer? It's a Monday, probably not. <laughs> oh yes, oh yes, oh. <laughs> guys, come on, yes? Okay, I don't make the rules, you know? I'll do it, I'll do it. Sound freedom. It's a Monday, treat yourself. True, that's why I'm making pizza. Bro, how do you special order everything so small to fit your size? <sighs> I'm gonna take the pizza out. That's how you know it's good. Ooh. I'd say it looks pretty good. It's not burned. And the crust is like, the crust is crusty. Yeah, you can tell, you can tell it's a good bake when it's like, like crusty like that, you know? Like it's not all droopy. This is like, I, I feel like I'm pretty proud of my pizza skills. I, I've made a lot of pizza now from home and I feel like I just kind of improve every time. Anyway, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go back into the stream room we take my apron off and I will show you guys the pizza up close. As you can see, the crust, oh shit. Crust got very crusty, but in the best way possible. I'm pretty proud of that. How come there was no green on your pizza? I just didn't want to do a green one. Oh fuck, you're right actually. There was supposed to be fresh basil on this pizza. We have to go back. Here we go. Fresh basil. Get it.